on. I hope you can hear me because yes, I've got my heater on and I won't mention it again. Okay, today I'm fitting some lighting. So the only lighting I have in here at the moment are these, I don't know if you can see them, but you probably can't, are these spotlights in the ceiling. Um, and kind of pretty fairy lights. But um, although I really rate getting these lights for the roof because they are a brilliant white and they kind of simulate daylight in here, they're very bright. So if you need to see what you're doing at night, these things are the way to go. But they are not cozy lights. They're not chilled lights because they're the white lights. So I wanted to get some warm light in here and that's what I've bought. These are, these are the lights I like to use. You can find them on eBay. Um, I'll show you. I think these were about 13 quid for four, something like that. We've just got a load of LEDs in here, I don't know if you can see that. And a little diffuser sort of cover for them. So yeah, you screw that into the ceiling. And then you can put this cover over the top of it. But these aren't the white lights, these are warm lights. This is, it's a warm white, so I'll show you the difference. So these are the lights I've bought, I've bought four of them. And I'll shut up, and I've bought four of them. And I'll show you the difference. They're the same lights as these, but these are obviously a white, brilliant white light. As I put these ones on, you can see these are a warm, a warm white. So you can see the difference. So these lights are going to be so much cozier at night. At night time, you don't want these lights on. You want a warm, chilled out light. So these lights are all going to go on the underside of my uh, overhead cupboards. So, uh, I'm gonna have, right, lighting. <laughs> I'm gonna have two of these spotlights underneath this unit, but also in each corner, I'm gonna have a sort of an individual reading light, sort of a spotlight that you can angle yourself. So right in the corner, I'll, I'll have those. But about here and here, I'll have these lights. Uh, and under the kitchen unit over there, I'll probably have two or three over there as well. But uh, let me show you what it's gonna look like roughly. So put them under here and under here. I had a look last night when it was dark just to make sure that um, I'm going to be happy where they're positioned. So yeah, last night they looked quite good. So yeah, I'm going to fit those now. Just need to measure up, make sure they're all spaced, I don't know, evenly. So uh, for under here I thought about just having, I'm going to have two lights, one and two somewhere. I thought about having them spaced evenly but it just didn't look quite right so I'm going to go 50 centimeters along from, th from this wall. 50 centimeters along from that wall and then obviously central so I've made my first marks I've marked 50 centimeters that's where the start of the light is and, uh, and I've sort of marked all the way around so I know exactly where it's gonna go and also with these lights the cable on the back you can you got a mark for the cable can you see that so I've marked for the cable, that's me, that's my face, camera's the wrong way. So if you can see, you can't see. I've made a basic circle, these are six centimeters wide these lights. Six centimeter circle and I've made a mark for the cable to go through. So I'm going to fit my first one now. I tried to cover the dust, but that failed. Ah, oh well. Right, I'll show you what I'm gonna do now. Now these lights do come with little plugs and a little box to plug them into, but I do away with that. I just cut the cable and wire it up, positive and, theme, positive and negative. Um, probably not supposed to do that, but I've used the lights that are on this ceiling now for since, well, two or three years now doing it the way I've done it, so uh, that's how I'm going to do it. Go on everybody, you can tell me off. They're probably rated for like 5 volts or something. Oh well. That's how I'm going to do it. So I've drilled my hole for the cable to go through. Snip snip!
take the cover off now mark up the holes to screw the light up all right now i've done that i'm just going to rub it use a rubber to get rid of all the other pencil marks i've made now the screws that come with this are teeny tiny teeny tiny screws find the best find a screwdriver for that there's one now I can put the diffuser lens thing and the cover back on so there's one Alright, I've marked that one up. We'll drill that one now. Make sure you check <laughs> that there's nothing up there before you drill into it. Wally. Oh, it's lovely and warm in here. So cold out. Now I still don't know whether I'm going to do anything to finish this, like paint it or something. I actually, I've, it's, it sounds strange, but I've actually kind of, the whole, just leaving it, that look, it's kind of grown on me. I've got this cupboard up here, which I kind of like, although my wife wants it to be a mirror. If I can put, if I can front this cupboard with a big mirror, that's also a cupboard, that would be quite cool. That's what my wife wants. But the underside of my units is all this, just this, uh, six, six mil ply. I don't know whether to leave it or not because I kind of like, kind of like it. It kind of looks good. It kind of looks. It matches, I think. Anyway, let me fit this light. Okay, got my two lights on there. I think you've got to bear in mind that when this is cladded, it's gonna there's gonna be an overhang, so you won't necessarily see the lights from head height. Um, maybe they look like they stand out, but trust me, I tried it out last night just holding them on there. At night time, man, that's cosy. Oh, wait till you see the end of this video. I'm going to get some night shots for you. Look, by the way, I'm not an electrician. The electrics in this van are simple, basic simple, and not something that you should necessarily copy. I put everything through a fuse, everything's, I believe I've done it right, but come on, be nice in the comments. I'm not an electrician, I'm just having a go, I'm learning on the job, and it's only 12 volts, You're not going to kill yourself, right? But don't try this at home. <laughs> so if you wish, these, these lights come with this uh, splitter attachment, so you can plug all your lights into that little box, which has a cigarette lighter on the other end of it. Um, but I yeah I don't use it. I just cut the cut the plug off the end of the light and uh, wire it to twelve volt. Now I was just a little bit concerned about it in case they were only five volt, but I just looked it up and they're twelve volt LEDs, so you can do that. I'm still going to put them through a five amp fuse or something. It's okay. I'm not going to kill myself. Right. So I don't know if you can see me. My lights are all up. Well, on this side, I've got two lights up. So now I've just got to run the cables. I'm going to run all the cables into the cupboard, to the back of the cupboard, all along the cupboard, into my wardrobe, and down in the corner of the wardrobe to all the power. Aha, switch. This, was, this is where it gets interesting. So as you walk in, on the side of the kitchen, there's going to be a panel with three switches on. Yeah, this is this is... This is weird. This is going to take a bit of figuring out. The three switches on the end of this kitchen unit, they're going to be the, the a switch for the main lights, a switch for these two lights, and a switch for those two lights underneath the kitchen unit. Because I'm thinking you're going to want independent control. You're not going to necessarily want both of them on. 
you might just w not want these ones on when you're chilling on the sofa. So yeah, I think we have an independent switch for those lights underneath that kitchen unit and for these. So I'm gonna have three switches over here. So I've got to run the positive from the battery to the switch and then back to the lights. And the earth can just connect onto the bus bar, the negative bus bar that I've got. So yeah, I've got to run a whole bunch of wires all the way to the other side of this van. This is why it pays to pre-plan. Maybe run some conduit first. So I haven't done that, so I just got to find a route for my cables to go somewhere that I can hide the cables. All right, so now that I've got all these wires here, I've got to find a way through this wardrobe, get them to the battery. There you are, mate. Uh, find a way just to get these wires to the battery. Put them for a fuse. <sighs> a lot of wiring. Okay. So excuse these two switches because they're obviously they're not staying. I've got a nice pa switch panel to go there. Like a household three-way, three three toggle. Ah, oh, whatever. You'll see. I've got to order it first. But yeah, I've done it. I've got wires down there in that corner to hide, but. I think once I've run all the wires I intend to run, then I'm going to sort of tidy up all the wires, hide them neatly, t you know, do a lot of cable management, get them all sort of smart. Anyway, so there's going to be one more switch here for those lights, but this should now work. Let's have a go. So that's the, this is the main ceiling light, and this should be the lights above me now. Yeah! Look how cosy that warm light is going to be with the with the wood and the warm white light. That's going to be pretty comfy. It's going to be pretty cosy at night. I don't know why I didn't do these lights before. I've been relying on these battery powered fairy lights, which are really cool because they um, they don't use any of your they don't use any of your 12 volt electrics. So it's good to have like battery, uh, fairy lights that are run off of double A's or something. But when you're cooking, they're just a bit too dark, those fairy lights. So these are going to be like, oh, so much better. Right, can I be bothered to do those ones today? Probably should. Right, my heat has been on now for three and a half hours. Switched it off. It is cold outside. It was snowing a minute ago. Yeah, let's switch it off. Okay, yeah, go on then. Let's get these other lights done. Uh, that took me a while to figure out. Oh, it took me a while to figure out, but anyway, I think I think we're there. So that's the main lights. That's the lights behind me, and that's them lights. Yes. Oh, that's so cool. So much different. That's changed the whole dynamic of the van. Just having a different color lights. I'm definitely going to get another one of these and stick it underneath here. Oh, I'm so happy with that. <laughs> oh, it's the simple thing that gives you pleasure, isn't it? It is for me, isn't it? Never actually having proper lighting. Yeah, I don't know why I waited so long to get these lights. They're not exactly expensive. And they just make a world of difference. Because I only had these brilliant white lights up here. They just made it feel <laughs> like you're being interrogated. They're just not comfy, not cosy at all. As soon as you get some warm white lights, oh, what a difference. So cosy. Right, let me tidy up this van. Ooh. There you go. Nice, warm, cosy lights. They make a huge difference. Massive, massive difference. Oh, it looks so cosy back there. There we go. Nothing left to say, so uh, see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.